Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. I was being followed by one of my friends earlier that like we just ran into while we were driving and he said the Jeep shot a big flame. It was daytime out still and he said he could see clear as day. So we're gonna switch to the GoPro 3, put it in a um, waterproof case because I don't really wanna put the GoPro 7 on the outside of my Jeep yet. So we're gonna use the GoPro 3 in a muffled um, waterproof case. And then if I work up the nerve, I'll switch the GoPro 7 into that position also, just to like maybe compare differences in quality and stuff. But I'm gonna run to the store and we're gonna hook the GoPro 3 up to the back of the Jeep and see if we can get it to shoot flames and also to get some exhaust notes going. I'm gonna grab the cases for the GoPros and set the suction cup up after I go to the store and we'll see if we can get the Jeep to shoot some flames. All right, so before I show you guys, outside footage of the exhaust i figured i would do an inside footage first and then after i'm done doing the inside then i'm gonna set the gopro up on the outside uh the gopro 3 by the way i haven't worked up the nerve to put the gopro 7 out there because i don't have the full protective case on and i do not want to risk cracking the lens because i've only gotten to use the gopro once i haven't even gotten my money worth out of it well my girlfriend's money worth out of it GoPro 3 on the back. It took a little bit. I've stopped in a field. I hope it doesn't fall off. I can see it on the windshield or on the rear window. And if I notice it's gone, I know where I'm at. Thankfully, I don't want to mess up this field. Oh God, <laughs> I'm going to be so nervous about this. But if this works, enjoy the outside video clips. I hope it shoots some flames for you guys. Please shoot flames and show.
and just having the GoPro 3 back there. But it held on the whole time, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put the GoPro 7 back there. But before I do that, I gotta pull over and switch everything off of the one, or switch the GoPro 3 off of the stand, off the suction cup, and put the GoPro 7 on there. But I'm going to go back down the hill that the Jeep shot the flame on earlier because I'm 100% sure it's gonna do it again on that exact hill. I don't know what the trick is to making it do that, where it shoots flames out the exhaust. I don't know the trick, but I'm hoping going downhill is the trick. So we're gonna go to the spot, switch everything, put the GoPro 7 on there. Pray to God this one doesn't fall off because I don't. And if it does, I just hope nothing breaks on it. But I hope it shoots flames, I really do. If not, I hope you guys are enjoying the sounds. Probably can't hear me. Oh shit, I don't want that camera. I dropped the GoPro. The GoPro 7 fell off the back of the Jeep and I just found it. I'm so nervous right now. Oh God. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> oh, it still looks good. Oh God. Most terrifying moment of my life, boys. Oh my god, I got... Oh, I'm shaking right now. I just spent five minutes walking up and down Chickies trying to fucking find this GoPro. I course, the GoPro 3 stayed on the fin trunk the whole time, but I put the 7 on there and it fin falls. What are the odds? Alright, so as you guys can tell, the GoPro 7 fell off the back of the Jeep which sucks. I'm not putting it back there and I just drove under the bridge that I was gonna probably end the exhaust video with. But of course, I'm coming down the hill where the Jeep supposedly shot a big flame in the daylight earlier. And of course I'm coming down and the GoPro 7 falls off. I hope, I hope, I hope that the GoPro 7 at least got a flame shot in there. Um, I know the GoPro 7 definitely picked up some better exhaust notes, but the GoPro 3 was recording a lot longer, so I don't know how much better this stuff is. You have your high beams on, asshole. Yeah, how my LED light taste, bitch! I don't think I've ever been so scared or so stressed out, and like, I'm, I'm glad it's only 8.30 at night, so traffic wasn't too heavy down Chickie's Hill. Oh, but I spent about five minutes looking for the GoPro, maybe three, I don't really know. However long the GoPro was laying there, I'm sure I'll find out. But that was that was definitely nerve-wracking because, like I said, I only recorded one time with this. My girlfriend spent $300 for the whole kit. But now I got the exhaust video out of the way. 
So I never, I'm not gonna have to stress about the GoPro 7 being on the back for a very long time, hopefully. But I'll wrap this video up when we get back to the house and I can make some closing statements. <laughs> All right, so like I said, a million times or thought a million times, I hope the Jeep shot a flame at least one because if it didn't, this re video really wasn't what I wanted it to be. But I'm still gonna make it whether it shot a flame or not. Um, so just some like overthoughts and what the exhaust setup is. If you don't know, it's just the stock manifold stock header um so whatever the dimensions or whatever is on that i think it's like two and a quarter or two and a half inches wide possibly not too sure but whatever the stock um exhaust setup usually is like the piping that's the size that's on it now but it's catless into a Flowmaster 10 series muffler and then straight out the back as you can tell um, the muffler started to crack right around the first time we went to Roush Creek. So it might be robbing it of some sound, but it doesn't really sound like it. That it just, it's just pretty much pushing air out of the exhaust. Um, it kind of sounds like a vacuum leak from the muffler, but it doesn't rob it from the back end sound of it too much. So that's what the exhaust is. If you were wondering now, if you're wondering how it sounds on the inside, the GoPro probably didn't pick it up too well, I don't know. But like I said earlier, you can hear a radio. I can hear mine if I'm on the highway and the windows are down, whether the windows are up. I usually have the radio turned up the whole way if I'm on the highway. Um, like, And it has only a driver's side speaker and a passenger side front speaker. Nothing is in the hatch, there's nothing in the rear doors. I don't have a sound bar going over anywhere. It's just those two speakers, so basically, if you're in the front, sitting in the two front seats, you can hear the radio. If you're sitting in the back, from what I heard, you can't hear the radio at all. So you just have to enjoy the sounds of the exhaust. Um, it does get droney in a certain RPM range, but because my Jeep has like the dummy cluster, um, I only have a fuel gauge and the speedometer. So I don't really know what range in the RPMs it's at that it gets droney. But other than that one spot where it gets really loud, that's about it. It's not too drony. Um, we did take it on a two and a half, three hour trip to the Poconos. I was jamming to the music the whole time. I was fine. I enjoyed the sounds of the Jeep. I enjoy the little crackles and pops it makes and I enjoy the loud pops and crackles that it makes. But I think that's everything I wanted to talk about with the exhaust. Like I said, for the millionth time, I hope to God that there is a flame in here somewhere. Um, I did find the GoPro 7, as you can tell. Uh, the case on it is just, it has a little road rash and the suction cup mount, it broke off a little bit. And this has a little bit of a little, a little rash on it. It's not gonna focus, oh well. But yeah, the screens didn't crack. But yeah, the GoPro did not crack, thankfully. So I will say that for this case, let's see if you can see. I don't know how to explain the case that's on it. You can kind of tell maybe it's got like an open back that I can touch the screen on. Um, and it's pretty, it's pretty bulky. Eh, you can't really tell. This is fun to use though. Cause I'm not used to having a GoPro where I can see myself in a mirror through the screen. The GoPro case, it's not like a full protection case like this one is. So it's not a case like that. But it protected the GoPro, thank God. Like, I'm so thankful that that happened. But I saw, I watched it fall off and it broke my heart. And <laughs> never doing it again, probably, maybe, with another car, possibly. I don't know. I'm dragging this on. I'm having too much fun talking to the camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the Jeep, comment down below. Um, if you are new to the Jeep and Daily channel, hit the subscribe button because I plan on doing some fun stuff, plan on doing lots of off-roading, plan on possibly building my Jeep more, getting another one. We'll see as time goes. My mind is all over the place with Jeeps and cars and I don't know. But like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. 
I will see you guys next time. This is the Jeep and Daily channel. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.